Ancient etchings, a timeless mystery, the Nazca Desert, a barren landscape in southern Peru, seemingly endless plains of sand and stone. But hidden within this desolate beauty lies a mystery. Etched into the desert floor are the Nazca lines. These lines, some stretching for miles, form gigantic shapes and figures. Animals, plants, geometric patterns, they are a testament to a lost civilization, the Nazca people. But their true purpose remains an enigma. Who created these lines and why? These questions have captivated explorers, scientists and dreamers for decades. Join me as we journey to the heart of this ancient mystery. Unearthing the past discovery and early theories. The Nazca lines remained hidden for centuries, concealed by the desert's embrace. It wasn't until the early 20th century, with the advent of flight, that they were truly revealed. In 1927, Peruvian archaeologist Toribio Mejia Zespe was the first to document the lines. He believed they were ancient roads or pathways. But it was Paul Kosok, an American historian, who recognized their true significance. Kosok, in the 1940s, suggested the lines were astronomical markers. He was particularly intrigued by the precision of their alignment with celestial events. His work ignited global interest in the Nazca lines and sparked a wave of new theories. Messages to the heavens? Exploring the alien hypothesis. One of the most captivating theories links the Nazca lines to extraterrestrial visitors. Could these massive geoglyphs be messages to beings from beyond the stars? Proponents of this theory point to the scale and precision of the lines. They argue that such feats would have been impossible for the ancient Nazca people to achieve without advanced technology. Some even suggest the lines were landing strips for alien spacecraft. While intriguing, the alien hypothesis lacks concrete evidence. There's no scientific basis to support the idea of ancient astronauts. Yet the sheer audacity of this theory continues to capture the imagination. Celestial map or earthly calendar? Unraveling the astronomical theory. Paul Kozok's work laid the foundation for the astronomical theory. This theory proposes that the Nazca lines served as a giant celestial calendar tracking the movements of the sun, moon and stars. The alignment of certain lines with solstices and equinoxes supports this idea. The intricate patterns, some argue, might represent constellations or astronomical events, providing guidance for planting and harvesting. However, not all lines have clear astronomical correlations. Critics argue that the alignments could be coincidental. While the astronomical theory is compelling, it remains a subject of debate. Section 5. Whispers of Life. The Water and Fertility Hypothesis. The harsh reality of the Nazca Desert cannot be ignored. Water, the lifeblood of any civilization, is scarce. Could the Nazca lines be linked to this precious resource? Some researchers believe the lines formed a vast hydraulic system. They point to the presence of underground water channels and suggest the geoglyphs marked their locations. Others propose the lines were part of water-related rituals designed to appease the gods and ensure rainfall. The connection between the lines and water is undeniable. However, concrete evidence to support a sophisticated hydraulic system is lacking. The water and fertility hypothesis offers a practical explanation, but it remains speculative. Section 6, Sacred Steps, Ritualistic Paths. Exploring the ceremonial theory, the Nazca people were deeply spiritual. Could the lines have served a ceremonial purpose connecting them to the divine? This theory suggests the lines were pathways for religious processions. The massive animal figures, perhaps representing deities or totems, would have been powerful symbols in these rituals. The act of walking the lines could have been a form of prayer or offering. The ceremonial theory resonates with the cultural practices of many ancient civilizations. The scale and symbolism of the lines certainly suggest a deeper meaning. However, deciphering the specific beliefs and rituals remains a challenge. Section 7. The artistry of the ancients. How were the Nazca lines created? 
Despite their grandeur, the Nazca lines were created using surprisingly simple tools and techniques. The Nazca people removed the reddish-brown surface stones to reveal the lighter-colored sand beneath. They used basic tools, stakes, ropes and measuring devices to create the straight lines and geometric shapes. The animal figures and more complex designs were likely created using a grid system to maintain proportions. The creation of the Nazca lines was a testament to their ingenuity and dedication. It was a monumental undertaking, requiring careful planning, collaboration and generations of work. Section 8. A view from above. The significance of aerial photography. The true scale and splendor of the Nazca lines are best appreciated from the air. Aerial photography has been instrumental in documenting and understanding these enigmatic geoglyphs. From above, the lines transform into intricate artworks, revealing their full complexity and artistry. Researchers use aerial surveys to map the lines, identify new figures and monitor their preservation. Aerial photography has also fueled speculation about the line's purpose. The sheer size and precision of some figures have led some to believe they were intended to be seen by the gods. Section 9. Enduring enigmas, unanswered questions and the allure of the unknown. The Nazca lines continue to captivate and mystify us. Despite decades of research, their true purpose remains an enigma. Were they astronomical markers, religious symbols or something else entirely? The lack of definitive answers only adds to their allure. The Nazca lines stand as a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of ancient cultures, reminding us that we still have much to learn about our past. The Nazca lines are a powerful reminder that some mysteries may never be fully solved. They challenge us to explore the unknown, to question our assumptions, and to appreciate the enduring power of human curiosity. Section 10. What do you see? The Nazca Lines and the power of imagination. As you gaze upon the Nazca Lines, what stories do they whisper to you? What secrets do you imagine they hold? The beauty of this ancient mystery lies not only in its unanswered questions, but also in the boundless possibilities it inspires. The Nazca Lines invite us to connect with our own creativity and imagination. They remind us that the world is full of wonder and that there is always more to discover. So next time you look up at the stars, Remember the ancient artists who etched their dreams into the desert floor. Let their legacy inspire you to keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep searching for the extraordinary. For within the realm of the unknown, anything is possible.